Hey there, everybody. Welcome to another One Mile Walk and Talk here on Jessica Smith TV. Jump right in here with me if you would. Just start walking in place. So we jump right into our one mile walks here. If you're new to them, I wanna say welcome. And these are just really a great way for us to get up, get our blood flowing, get some energy going, and maybe just talk about some more topics that might be of interest, help you with your motivation, not only in your workouts, but also hopefully in other areas of your life. So if you find you need a little bit more time to work up into this faster beat, do what you need to do. Always listen to and honor your body at all times. So we're just marching in place to the beat. We are gonna mix up our movements here to avoid any kind of joint strain. So just getting into the groove, let your arms do what feels good to you. Take a couple nice deep breaths right off the bat. Then just bringing those shoulders up as you inhale. And then exhale, just let them release down your back. Two more of those deep breaths in and just check in and see how you're feeling today. One more time, inhale. Good, relax your shoulders. Let your arms just swing in a way that feels comfortable to you. We're gonna keep that nice little faster beat here, but we're just gonna switch it up by taking our feet out wide now. So just stepping it out wide, let's start to work through the backs of the legs. Hamstring curl right here, just squeezing that heel in towards your body. If you want to, you could add a little pull back through those arms. Just kind of thinking about waking up those posture muscles between our shoulders here. Good. So if you're just starting out with exercise or if you're coming back after a long hiatus, these one mile walk and talks might be helpful just to get your body moving again. If you've been exercising for a long time and you just maybe need a break from your desk or you need a little extra energy boost, you can join us for these one mile sessions at any time. Good, let's take it out to a toe tap now, just pointing through the toe, kind of starting to wake up our ankles a little more. Good. If it feels good to you, you could add a little reach with that, kind of stretching up, opening up through the side body here. Good. You got it. So I want to get us kind of warmed up before we jump into our topic today. Good. That's it. Now keep walking it wide and let's start to wake up the muscles down the front of our shins. So we're gonna flex the feet, do a little heel dig, corner to corner, really focusing on trying to pull the toes back as close to your shins as you can. Little coordination option for the upper body, you could add a little press across, pushing through the chest and also working on the flexion of the wrist here, pulling those fingers back to your forearms. Good, that's it. Just a few more. Two. Let's take it back to that basic walk. Great job. All right, so all we're gonna do is take some mixed up walking patterns, but remember that you can always just come back to this marching in place movement at any time. So just do what's working best for you and the space you have to move around in. So we're just gonna take a walk forward and a walk back. So today's topic, I'm really just calling it let's move. So we can get up, get your body moving in action. But the topic I thought we could kind of dive into here is just that word action. And the idea that just taking action every single day, no matter how small it may feel or seem, is really the key towards working towards something, whatever we want to bring into our life, whatever we're working towards maybe within our workouts, but also just in our daily activities, right? So it's just about really mastering the art of showing up, saying, you know what? I'm gonna show up for myself today, whatever that looks like for you. And don't forget to celebrate those wins. So every time that you do show up and you take those small action steps, be sure to celebrate it in some way. Whatever's meaningful to you, just keep encouraging yourself, cheering yourself, yourself on along your journey so that you're more motivated to continue to do it. Okay, while I'm talking here, let's take it into a side to side step tap. Good. So I think sometimes we get so tripped up in trying to just really figure everything out and make sure everything looks perfect in our planning 
that sometimes we forget the most important part of our achieving our goals is actually just taking some action. Whether it's a small, small step, anything that moves us a little further forward is always a good idea. Good, let's take a few more in place here, side to side. Now let's just double this up, two down, two back. So if you have more room than I do and you really wanna make this big, go for it. If it feels better to you to keep this a little smaller, do that too, whatever's working. Good, so as we're moving here today, talking a little bit, I hope you'll just start thinking about maybe some areas of your life, maybe in your workout plan, whatever it is that you're working on right now. Are there any other ways that you could be showing up for yourself? Maybe a little more consistently, a little bit stronger. Good. Just taking a minute, just even to acknowledge it, just to think about it is a great first step. You know, I know we're all so busy. There's so much going on in our lives and in the world today. Just taking some time to just reflect. And even as we're moving, we're getting things done, right? We're in action. Just taking this moment to kind of think about that. Considering what it is that you're working on, what you're working towards, and what action steps you could be taking to help continue to move you forward. Take it back to your walk, please, right here. Checking in with that posture, shoulders back, making sure you can breathe nice and strong here. Good. Let's just mix it up with an out, out, in, in pattern with our feet. So it looks like this. You're just gonna step out, out, in, in. Good. Nice. So having a healthy lifestyle is really just about establishing healthy habits that you can stick with on a consistent basis, right? So it's those small daily steps, setting yourself up for success setting up things that you can do on a daily basis that you don't have to think about too much. You just kind of build into your day. Makes taking action a little easier, right? We don't want to have to fight it to kind of try and fit everything in. The more you can kind of automate your daily habits, the more likely you are to stick with them, right? Good, let's walk it in place. Taking it forward and back. Nice. Now, if you have a little extra energy, you're feeling pretty strong. If you wanted to take this into a light little jog, please feel free to do that. Otherwise, you can stay with that nice, strong, powerful walk. Good. How are you feeling? Nice. The body's starting to wake up a little bit. I think that's one of my favorite things about exercise is just how good it makes us feel. So hopefully you can remember that on the days when you're going, oh, not quite sure I want to get moving today. Just remember how great you feel while you're doing it and after it's done, right? Using that to help us get up and get going to continue that action, that snowball effect. The more we do it, the more likely we are to do it, right? Building our habits, building those pathways in our brain. Nice. Let's take one more forward and back. You're doing great. Hold it here, walking it out wide. Let's hold it strong. Let's go back into the back side of the legs just to mix it up. Hamstring curl. If you want those arms, a little bigger energy with this now if you're ready. Good. Nice deep breaths. Beautiful, you got it. Toe tap it out. Just stretch to the top of that foot. Good, if you wanted to, adding a double arm reach. Big stretch. Again, just feeling that energy flowing through the body. Feeling good, feeling strong. We are taking action today. You got it, four more. Three, two, walk it wide and hold. So we're gonna take an alternating knee lift, keeping the feet wide, abs engaged. So just think about lightly bracing your abs into your spine, make sure you're not holding your breath. Looks like this, we're gonna take an alternating knee lift, twisting that shoulder. 
So if that twist happens to bother your back at all, just take it out. But if you can, that little cross action of the shoulder to the opposite knee with those abs braced helps us wake up those obliques. Good. If you want it a little more, arms can come up and around. You got it. Nice. Feeling that heart pumping nice and strong here. Four more. Three, two, one. Let's walk and hold it. Great job. Again, just mixing up our pattern a little bit. Let's walk on a diagonal, taking it forward, taking it back, go the other way. If you wanted to add that jogging action in here, go for it. Nice, so nothing complex with these walk and talks. We keep it simple, energy strong. Right here, we're mastering the art of showing up, sparkling, and making it count. Good, one more in each direction. Last time to the corner. You got it, walking strong and tall. Deep breaths, check back in with our posture here. Nice job. Good, let's go back to those heel digs. Think corner to corner. Ready? Here we go. Take it out, flexing the toes. Both arms could push if you wanted to add that in. You got it. Nice, strong energy pushing out through the heels and the heels of the hands as well. Four, three, two, one. Let's walk it back in. You're doing great. Let's take an alternating knee lift to the front, standing tall. Abs are still braced and tight. Feel that connection between the knee lifting and the abs bracing in a little tighter here. If you want, opposite reach with your arm, nice and tall, like you're climbing to the ceiling. That's it. Good, you got this. Four, three, two, one more set. Walk, hold, great job. Okay, so we're gonna mix this up just a little bit. Again, we don't wanna keep it complicated. So if you wanna stay here, you absolutely can. But I want a little more action from the back side of our body now. So we're gonna take a little tap back. Little slower tempo first. Pull it back. When you're ready, just alternate it back. So it's just a little tap back. If you wanna stay slower, you can. If you want to stay with that march in place, you can. I'm just kind of aiming back to the back corners of my mat here. Step and pull. If you want a little more intensity, light little leap to the side. Totally optional. You build into it what works for you. Good. Pull. Walk and hold it here. Good. Checking back in. Shoulders back. Let's check back in with the shoulder. Make sure we're not tensing through the upper body. Shoulders up. Exhale, release them down. Again, inhale, big stretch. Release one more time, please. You're doing great. Let's travel it forward. Walking back. Again, if you want to pick it up into a jog, feel free. That's it. How you feeling? Good? I hope you're feeling glad that you decided to show up today. I wanna to thank you so much for taking action, deciding to join me for this one mile walk and talk session today. I really appreciate you being here, sharing your time, energy, and sparkle with me. And I hope too, when this session is over, if you'd like, if you'd leave a video comment below and just let us know, is there something that you're working towards right now? Some actions that you're thinking about taking, some other ways you could be showing up strong for yourself. I'd love to hear about it so we can all help cheer each other on. Sometimes just declaring something makes you more likely to stick with it and put more energy behind it. So if you're comfortable sharing with us, please do so. We have an amazing community here. I always love to see you all interacting with each other and I love hearing from you too. 
Let's take it back to our walk, strong and tall. Great job. Taking it back to those side to side step taps. Right here, just checking in. We're about at our mile marker already. Can you believe it? It went by so fast. Nice. Pulling in. We're just gonna finish up with one more set of those hamstring curls. Just loosening it up. So, if you're feeling good, you're feeling strong, and you want to keep taking action, I would love to keep walking with you. We have a whole playlist of one mile walk and talks you can continue on with. Maybe you're ready to do some strength training now, or maybe you need to get on with whatever's left of your day today. Whatever the option is, please do what's best for you. Again, I want to say thank you for showing up. Let's walk it out. Thank you for showing up, for taking action with me today. I cannot wait to keep moving with you again soon. Please keep up all the great work you're doing, taking care of your body and your health. Hope to see you soon. Take care, everybody.